Good day and you're welcome to Headlines Nigeria on NITV. I am Grace Ukot. Many topical events have been going on in our country and we'll take a quick look at what the newspapers are saying. This day newspaper says there will be no rivalry with VP, says Jonathan. President Goodluck Jonathan has indicated that his administration will not be marked by bitter rivalry between himself and the newly sworn in Vice President Namadi Sambo. He also gave a glimpse of the responsibilities that the VP might be asked to shoulder when he stated that Sambo would meet with the economic team regularly to ensure delivery of promises to the public. Niger Delta Shell restarts $2 billion gas project. The relative peace in the Niger Delta following the federal government amnesty program has prompted Shell Petroleum Development Company joint venture to restart work on gas gathering projects previously delayed by funding and security problems. Also, Corn Oil Producing Limited, Nigeria's indigenous petroleum exploration and production company, has discovered huge deposits of gas in the central part of its oil mining lease in offshore Niger Delta. The project covering 26 flow stations in the region is expected to cost $2 billion. Another Nigeria-bound toxic waste ship intercepted. The National Environmental Standards and Regulatory Enforcement Agency disclosed yesterday that a ship loaded with toxic waste bound for Nigeria has been intercepted. This is coming six weeks after the same agency discovered a shipment full of toxic waste headed for Nigeria. Leadership newspaper, Why I Picked Sambo, Jonathan. President Goodluck Jonathan said yesterday that his choice of architect Mohamed Namadi Sambo as his deputy was based on the personal confidence he reposed in him, having worked with him in various capacities. Jonathan had recently worked with Sambo in the National Economic Council, the National Independent Power Projects Committee, and on the construction of the National Secretariat of the People's Democratic Party. Corruption. More heads may roll in PDP National Assembly. In an effort to thoroughly investigate the involvement of some prominent Nigerians in the 17.5 million euro cement bribery scam, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has summoned three former ministers who are alleged to have been indicted in the scandal for interrogation. Five billion naira allegation rocks maritime security bill. Allegations of 5 billion naira appropriation for a non-existent maritime security agency dug the bill for an act to establish the Maritime Security Agency, which was meant to promote maritime security and other related purposes. The bill was eventually withdrawn on the strength that its provisions clash with other agencies in the armed forces. Ibori, no concrete deal with Metropolis yet. Waziri. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Mrs. Farida Waziri, has revealed that her commission has not made any concrete treaty with Metropolitan Police yet, but had already sent delegations to the UAE authorities to help in the extradition of former Delta State Governor Chief James Ibori. And now moving over to Punch newspaper, Assault on Journalists, JSC Redeploys Magistrate. Following the public outcry against her assault on a journalist covering the alleged 7.5 billion naira fraud against some bankers, an Abuja chief magistrate, Mrs. Zainab Bashir, has been redeployed by the Judicial Service Committee of the Federal Capital Territory. And now Daily Trust newspaper, Jonathan told not to pr contest presidency in 2011. A founding member of the People's Democratic Party and former Nigerian ambassador to Germany, Professor Tunde Adeniro, has advised President Goodluck Jonathan not to contest in the 2011 presidential elections. Adeniro also kicked against appointing Minister of Information and Communication, Professor Dora Akwili, as chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission. Sharia Council backs Yerima on marriage. The Supreme Council for Sharia in Nigeria yesterday rose from an emergency meeting in Kaduna warning the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons and Other Related Matters, NAPTIP, to stop quizzing Senator Ahmed Sani Yerima over his marriage to an Egyptian girl, saying enough is enough. And on Daily Independent newspaper front page, Sambo Swan in VP. 
Mohamed Namari Sambo, age 55, took the oath of office as vice president on Wednesday with a pledge from President Goodluck Jonathan not to engage him in the messy knockdowns and dragouts that marked the tenure of Olushegun Obasanjo and Atiku Abubakar in the villa between 1999 and 2007. Senate bows to AGF, swears in Igbeke Tuesday. The Senate has set next Tuesday to swear in Alfonso Igbeke to replace Joy Emodi as a senator for Anambra North, in line with the appeal court ruling in Enugu last month and based on advice from Federal Attorney General and Justice Minister Mohamed Adoki. Vanga newspaper, Fek Drill Sanusi over economy. The weekly Federal Executive Council, which met behind closed doors yesterday, put the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, on the spot with probing questions on the performance of the economy. Sanusi, sources said, told the meeting, which was presided over by President Goodluck Jonathan with cabinet members in attendance, that crude oil and natural gas growth rate stood at 0.27%. And now moving over to politics news, Punch newspaper, Akwaibom Assembly sacks Speaker, Deputy. The crisis rocking the Akwaibom State House of Assembly deepened on Wednesday as 22 out of the 26 lawmakers resolved to remove the Speaker, Obong Ignatius Edet, and his deputy, Chief Okon Uwa, over allegations of financial impropriety. The lawmakers had on Tuesday given them a seven-day ultimatum to resign or risk impeachment. Obula 4, PDP governors disagree over successor. Governors elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party disagreed on Wednesday on who should succeed the party's outgoing national chairman, Prince Vincent Obulafo. The governors at a meeting held at the Quara Lodge in Nabuja on Wednesday failed to reach a consensus on who to support among the numerous candidates jostling for the position. Leadership newspaper, I am set to become PDP chairman. The race for the chairmanship of the People's Democratic Party is a straight battle between two former Senate presidents, Ayim Pius Ayim and Ken Namani, with Ayim slightly ahead of Namani and favored to become the leader of the party. And now moving over to business news, Daily Independent, CBN approves new MDs for Zenith, Sky, UBA. New managing directors have been approved for Zenith Bank, Sky Bank and United Bank for Africa, as named a few weeks ago by their boards. The Central Bank of Nigeria gave the nod on Tuesday for Godwin Emefiele to become Zenith MD, Kende Durosimi Eti, Sky and Philip Oduoza, UBA. CBN plans new banking reforms. The Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Lamido Sanusi on Wednesday briefed the Federal Executive Council on its plans to embark on another round of banking consolidation to further stimulate and strengthen the na nation's economy. And now on sports news, this day newspaper says 60 buses for Nigeria fans in South Africa. Nigerian football fans will have their transportation worries in South Africa eased considerably with the provision of 60 buses by premium sports during the tournament. Daily Trust, Nigeria's top golfer Abdullahi dies in auto crash. Nigeria's number one professional golfer Ali Abdullahi lost his life yesterday while traveling from Abuja to Mina for a professional golf tournament slated to begin yesterday. Abdullahi, who was also the number one in West Africa, died alongside two co-travelers in the auto crash before Paiko, a local government area in Niger State, less than 20 kilometers away from Mina Township. Ten table tennis stars depart for Moscow Championship. Ten table tennis players who will represent the country at the World Team Championship in Moscow, Russia, are expected to depart the country for the competition on Friday. Shergun Oguntade, Secretary, Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, said yesterday in Lagos that the country team for the May 23 to May 30 championship comprises five male and five female players. And with this summaries, we've come to the end of this edition of Headlines Nigeria. Don't forget to log on tomorrow for more on Headlines Nigeria. Thanks for logging on.